Hi, in this video, we'll learn about HTML images. So we've all seen it. Web pages have images. They spice up the web page, give us something to look at. It's very common for a web page to have an image. So how can we add images to our web pages? Well, introducing the image tag, IMG. So the IMG tag allows us to add images to our web pages. So let's look at an example image tag. So there's a couple important things to note here. First is that there's no closing tag, kind of like BR and HR, there's no need for a slash image tag because really there's no text being annotated by the image tag. There's nothing to put inside an image tag and close it because the image tag isn't really doing anything to text, it's just fetching an image and putting it on the page. So really it's just simply image tag and some attributes. Now the attributes are very important. So what are the attributes of an image tag? First off, we have the SRC attribute, or the source attribute. The source attribute specifies where we should get the image from. And this is the URL for an image. So this is where the image tag will actually look to grab the image and insert it onto your web page. We also have width and height attributes, and these can be used to specify the size of the image, and it's specifying the size in pixels. Now, we'll be learning a lot more about pixels later on in the course, but for now, just know that pixels are the tiny, tiny little dots of color on your computer screen that, when put together, create the entire image. So, for example, I can zoom in really, really close here, and you can see that all of these shapes on the screen are really made of these tiny, tiny little squares, each of which have a color. Now, each of those squares are one pixel. To give you an idea, that first line has a thickness of about one pixel, the second line has a thickness of about 12 pixels, and that last line has a thickness of about 24 pixels. And pixels are the unit of measurement we'll be using to size our images. Let's look at an example. So here we have an image, and we have specified the source attribute to pull an image from that URL. And the result is the CodeHS logo. Now we can add a width attribute of 100 pixels, and that will shrink the image. You can see that the height shrunk along with it. So if we only specify width or height, then the other attribute will scale to keep the image the same shape. If we specify both width and height, then the image will actually get stretched to fit into those dimensions. So if we have a width of 100 and a height of 600 pixels, then the image will actually be stretched to look really tall. Let's see this in the editor. So here we have a simple web page with two links. One is a hyperlink to the CodeHS info page, and the other is a hyperlink to Wikipedia. Now what we want to do is spruce up this web page a little bit by adding the logos of CodeHS and Wikipedia above each link. So the way we're going to do that is using the image tag. So to find the image tag, head over to resources. It's in the resources section along with the A tag. And right above the A, I'm going to drag out the image tag and put it there. So we need to specify the URL for the CodeHS logo, and that is the source attribute of the image tag. So the URL for the CodeHS logo is codehs.com slash static slash image slash logo.png. And so if we type in the URL for the CodeHS logo, we see that we actually get the CodeHS logo. And the problem is this is huge. This takes up the entire page. So I'm going to switch to code view. We're going to add a couple more attributes. If we specify the width, set that to be, let's do 100 pixels, see that the image will actually get scaled down. Now it's a nice size. One other interesting attribute is the alt attribute. And so what this does is this will define text that the browser should display in the case that the image wasn't actually found. So alternatively, if the image is not found, we can display the text CodeHS logo. So now let's say there was something wrong with the URL. Let's try this. We see that we actually get that text right there. But if the URL is correct, then we get the image instead. Awesome. So let's switch back to block view. Let's add a little line break right after the image. Awesome. So now we have the CodeHS logo. Now let's get the Wikipedia logo. So if you don't know the URL for an image by memory, Another thing you can do is, let's go ahead and go to the Wikipedia page. So this is the logo we want. What you can do is right click on the logo and choose this option right here, copy image address. This is the address for the image, the URL for that image. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that. And now we can use that in our image tag. So put an image tag right above the Wikipedia link. 
the source. I'm just going to paste it in, and that is the source. That is the URL for the Wikipedia logo. And let's go ahead and add the alt text of Wikipedia logo. And let's see what that gets us. Awesome. So again, it's a little, the size doesn't match up with this. Uh, just to show that we can stretch it if we want, let's set the width to be 200 pixels and the height to be 100 pixels. And we'll add a line break afterwards. And there we go. We see the images all stretched out to match the dimensions that I specified. So that is how we can add images to our web pages. Now it's your turn.